Hello everybody! Welcome back to Planet Zoo! Well, sort of welcome back. This is the cozy corner, however, it's a new cozy corner. Um, yeah, so I've got some bad news and some good news, and it all kind of rolls together all in the same thing. Um, <laughs> so a couple of weeks ago, I was doing some building, trying to load Planet Zoo, wanting to build, and um, it kept crashing every time that I tried to open, like, and, and not just going to the, the menu, not just doing this, but crashing, crashing. Um, every time I tried to open Cozy Corner. And so then I was like, okay, I'll try another zoo. And all my other zoos were working. So I think it got corrupted. Um, so <laughs> like, oh no. And you know, so I was really stressed out. And then I was like, you know what? There were some things about it that I wanted to redo, um, you know, like the, the, uh, uh, what am I trying to think of, like the, um, the orientation I didn't really like as much as I think I could have done. Um, I know I wanted more of an entry. Um, I think it was like half this size before. And so now I can really play with it, and um, I'm still planning on doing like a fountain here, but I want to really build it up. So anyway, before I really got to work building, um, I decided to show you guys what I have so far. Um, and so with the corruption, um, you know, I was, I was stressed out and like, oh man, I I had a bunch of habitat builds that I really liked. Um, you know, there are some some cool. Hello, <laughs> let's go back. Um, you know, like the like over here, the the beaver lookout, whatever you want to call it. I had the dug dugout over here for the the alligators that I really liked. Um, I was like, oh, I wonder if it'll load enough for me to go to go save those because I hadn't saved anything. I don't I don't really um, have a desire to put anything on uh, the workshop or anything like that. Um, so I loaded it and I was able to save some things. And then I noticed that the Arctic foxes that were like stuck and the vets that were stuck they were suddenly fixed <laughs> and uh, I was like oh wow that finally oriented itself or whatever you want to call it they, it fixed it they, that's awesome awesome yay and then it was like but I already had I already I had already started on the new zoo and everything and it's like all right well now I can do it the way that I want it to want it done um so um it's fine, I think. I'm I'm okay with it being, um, being corrupted. Um, I've gone back and gotten some animals out of there. Um, I even decided that some things I liked better after I I kind of rebuilt it, like, um, like the the alligator, this part here. So before. It was this and some like, I think the I think I, I used this roof over here, whatever this was. I think that's the slate. Is it the slate? I don't remember. It might be. What are you slate? Slate roof. Yep. Okay. Um. And so when I when I saved it, it didn't save the whole thing. It kind of saved it actually kind of like this, how it was like bits and pieces of it. So like this, this is part of it. But it saved like that. Um, and I was like, oh, now I gotta rebuild it. I didn't really like it to begin with. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, this looks all right. <laughs> so I was like, okay, never mind. That's fine, I'll change it. So um, I had, I had thought, I don't know if I, uh, had that built yet or not, but I had like, um, these, these pieces here, 
I was kind of putting down here along the, the ends to kind of block this off so that the, the alligators would just nest down here. Um, and I'm still going to do that. Um, but so then I was like, well, why don't I just carry over that theme to the rest of it? So now I have this. Uh, and my, my mouse is not wanting to co cooperate very much. So sorry about that. But so I rebuilt this. I, I had some of it saved and then kind of rebuilt around it. And now I have this entry. Um, so this is, I, I can't get that curve to go away. I tried to flatten all this out. I have it be all the same level. I, uh, <laughs> I got so frustrated. The paving, man, the paths are so annoying. Oh, inspector, you're back. Why are you back already? I just saw you leave. Why are you back already? Hmm. Huh, huh. Alright, well, whatever. Yeah, um, and, and it's a little, I mean, it, it's just a little bigger step, right? Just, just a little bigger one. Um, obviously I need some handrails. I need the walls to kind of come down more. This is, this is completely under, unfinished. This is not something I did. I just changed out the plants because, um, the... They, they didn't like the plants that I used. So the the log and the letters um, and the little little alligator sign. All right, wasn't that there? Yeah. Um, I can't. Where were you? Hold on, gotta give credit. Yes. So I really can't, really? Why? Why must you? Why? Okay, so where'd you go? Okay, so you you, you see here here. Can we like? Why do you have to be so annoying? <laughs> oh, could it just? Okay. Yeah. No. No. Turn there. There. Okay. All right. So. If you see this, so, so, yeah. So I took this idea, but the Crocs did not like the nettles or the fern. I think that's fern. Um, so I changed that with some bamboo. Um, and then I, I colored the, the croc there. I, I think it's an alligator actually. Um, and I swapped that out. But anyway, so the, the creator is Kareen C. It's C-A-R-E-N-E-C. The link is in the description if you want to borrow it. Thank you for your creation. It kind of spruces it up a little bit. Thank you very much. And then, yeah, roofing. Uh, I wish there was an auto roof, honestly. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Um, I'm terrible at roofing. I, I, oh, it drives me nuts because I want it to look all the same. You know, this, this drives me crazy because you can, mouse, would you mind working? See, it's, it's a little off. So like through here, it's all lined up. <laughs> this actually kind of little bugs me a little bit. You can't really tell. Unless you see that, see the tiles don't match up really perfectly. Um, but yeah, you, you can't like tell that much. This this is going to be fixed too. Um, so uh, the terrain, say, is all like uh, not flush with the wall. So I just added like double walls, and then I roofed it and then um forgot that i hadn't done that over here so <laughs> there'll be some adjusting but that's okay because over here if you can see in the dark because that happened um is this is all kind of weird anyway so i think it's totally fine that it is it yeah it, it'll be fine no oh, what is going on what is going on oh too many boy many boy frogs? 
Too many boy frogs, too many girl frogs. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I just. Oh, well. Okay, we'll go to Serena. There we go. And our camels. Our camels are very hungry. There we go. Come on, keeper. I don't know where you are. You're probably taking a break. I had a mechanic quit on me. I don't know why he was upset. I now I only have two keepers. So apparently my keepers have quit on me too because I had three or four. Oh, there's some more. There we go. Huh. All right. All right. Anyway, um, there is a community challenge, and hold on while I stop that, hopefully. Yes. Okay, you guys, if, if you could refrain. I'm gonna... Um, because the... The, uh... Eh, mouse! Oh, there's a lot of... There's a lot of yamas. I say yama because in Spanish it's L L A M A is yama, like her name is. Um, yamo would be my name. Um, so I say yama. <laughs> just, just to be annoying. <laughs> just to be annoying. I'm gonna have to get a new mouse. I had. Is that an albino? Yes! Ooh, she's gold. Ooh, she's a pretty baby! Ooh! And of course, it's getting dark again. And it's snowing. So, we'll give a little bit. And I'll show you the albino. Look at that. How cute is the albino baby? Oh, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> so cute. You're so cute. Would you like to come out of there so we can like really see you? Please? There we go. Oh my god. And the water dripping off. So cool. They're so beautiful. Oh! I got a female up there having his little scratch. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna go get some melon? You gonna go get some melon? Yeah. Just kidding. I don't like melon. Oh, 
are you looking at, people? Oh, I guess you could be observing that one way over there. Okay. All right. So I am going to put a rock roof over here, over this here. Um, definitely going to add rails. Um, and I'll wall this off too so that they can't really get in there and my i'm gonna do more on the dam because um i figured out how to how to get it look a little bit more realistic a little bit better um there's more to do it there's uh, so i'm gonna be replacing like the logs here and then the, the top is going to get replaced, um, but that's, that's going to take forever. <laughs> that's going to take forever. Um, so you, you see see these here? Yeah. So I started with like four of those and then just like did this. Oh, well, okay. So, yeah. That's why it takes forever. <laughs> Got a lot of llamas. You're not gonna help. Oh, right, the community challenge. So the community challenge is breeding gold-rated domesticated animals. And as far as I know, there's only two. There's the the camel, the back is it back train camel, and then the the llama. Not. I don't think it's the easiest. <laughs> but uh, I don't. I don't necessarily need them to be easy. Um, I, I like doing them. I, I wish there were more challenges, honestly. Uh, but I love, I love the name of it. It ain't never had a friend like me. From Aladdin. <laughs> I love it. So, from the start, I knew it wasn't going to be just American animals, like North American animals, um, but it was like an inter introductory to the American North American pack. The way you do it, right? <laughs> so um, I I decided to do like a. North American, Central American, Europe, Asian kind of zoo. <laughs> so almost everything, but uh, <laughs> pretty much everything besides Africa and Australia. And no, I don't have anything against it. I don't. I I love. I love a lot of the animals actually. Um. I really know what made me decide. I was just kind of trying to kind of group things together. Um, and I, like, originally I was gonna have, I was, I was originally just gonna do North American and Europe, and then I was like, well, um, but then, like, then I won't have any elephants and I won't have any rhinos, right? And I'm like, okay, so then let's do like Asia. And so I was like, oh cool, so now I can have tigers and I can have pandas, monkeys. And as I was going through the Zoopedia continent and like that, yeah, so I was doing this and I was like, Jaguar? Aren't jaguars South America? And bec because they don't have like a Central American continent, 
like because it's not technically a continent right so um so they include it in north america but i think it is technically north american because they're in mexico too it was just like huh i never really thought of that i just always think of them as like south american and you know like central central america so that was interesting for me um and so i was like okay so maybe maybe like latin america and then <laughs> and then it kind of like went on from there and so i'm like okay so what would that include i mean is that just like all of our south american you know am i just gonna do like an american Eur eurasia kind of thing <laughs> wasn't sure um but where was it oh yeah the colombian capuchin which technically <laughs> technically i can do it <laughs> um but I still kind of think of them as South America, not not like Central America. But that'll be fun. It'll be fun. I've been um, watching some other zoo builds, and um, I'm on I'm on Twitter now, so uh, I get like um, tweets tweets from uh, tweets <laughs> tweets from zoos and stuff because I'm you know I, I follow them and because um, I like looking at animals and stuff. And uh, I've been getting some ideas from there. So it should be good. Should be good. I've already added. I don't have all the animals that I had in the original. Um, but I do have the grizzlies. Oh, can, can we? Thank you. Sort of. Um. And I'll get this built up again. Can we see? Okay, I don't. You probably can barely see this. Um, but so this curved and it matched the the gap filler that I had made. So, oh well, <laughs> I'll have to redo that too. <laughs> it's all right. Um. Uh. And I filled this in a little bit. Excuse me. It's not at all what it's going to be like, but it works. And I think I'm going to do the steel mesh here. Um, or at least it looks steel. Because then, like, you can still look up and kind of see the bears if they're up there. Like, the, the cubs especially like going up there. Um, but it'll still look secure. <laughs> That's, that's what we're going for, the look, right? That's all that matters. Um, and as, I, as you can see, I did bring the fountain over, or the fountain, the waterfall. And I decided, if you remember, the, uh, the moose shelter was over here. I decided to um, use the, the overhang and the, the, uh, the stairs as as their shelter. Okay, so I'm going to put you in the trade center because I don't want you mating with your papa, okay? Thank you! The camels are actually... Where are they? Where are they? Um... I'm, uh, I'm blanking. Where are you guys? Mongolia, China, Himalayas, and Siberia. That's where they are. Oh, I can handle temperate. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. But, anyway. This is this is for the community challenges, so they're going to be moving anyway. And I wanted I wanted to make this bigger, too, because um, when we have really big animals, like the elephants, the elephants weren't, weren't able to fit in the other one. Um, so I was like, no, I need to make it bigger anyway. So now it's a giant one. Yeah, the saltwater crocs. So they're like Indonesian, Indonesia. Oh yeah, 
forget where Indonesia is. I don't remember. It's it's one of these. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I thought they were like strictly on Australia. They're definitely not. They're like all all up in here. All up in here. And North North Australia makes sense because it's warmer. Warmer than the south. Um I kinda wanted the dwarf caimans, but they're they're definitely um Yeah, Brazil. Then and Ecuador. There's there too, yeah. So they're like all over they're all over South America. But really South America, not just like you know, there's just a tiny little tip of the, the Central America. Anyway, um, but we'll have the tapirs and the the um, giant ant eaters too. I like the ant eaters. I like I kind of like this little area here. Um, it's not finished, but I like how I got um, I got the water up over the land a little bit. See that? And then I sunk the. Uh, the mud pit down so like the water is actually up over the mud pit. I didn't even know that was possible but I got it working. And they they really like it. They really like it. Mm, they're technically in water I guess. I guess that works because you're so tiny. You're so tiny. What what I know. What you let me do over here? What? Okay, well, maybe it was. Oh, there. Okay. Well, yeah, you know, like that. <laughs> anyway. They like it. Oh. Definitely need supports over here too. <laughs> Definitely need. Oh, and the, that was the other thing. Another thing too was that there was enough space in between the the seating seating and to walk through and stuff. And so I, I fixed that too. Um, I need to put a restaurant in over here, but I'm not sure where to put it. So I could. I think I could almost get rid of this though too because we have this center over here and there this door to the habitat is over here anyway um so this stuff in here doesn't benefit anybody at all I guess it kind of kind of benefits the exhibit over here but not enough to where it'll matter and I can just put like it kind of depends on where I put. I'm gonna put the restaurant here, and then over here would be like a staff center and a keeper hut. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I also want something to where I can put the screens up because I like the screens being there for when they come in because you can you can direct them to it, and so it helps during. The community challenges um but they they need to be actually fixed to something instead of floating in midair <laughs> all right guys i think that's gonna be it for the the tour but thank you for watching um probably wasn't the, the intention wasn't really to be entertaining, so it's all right if you weren't entertained. You just you just kind of took in the tour and went, oh, all right, I can I can see where where it'll 
get to and looking forward to that and that's fine that's all you get from it that's totally cool that was the intention to just show you how it's going right now so there's that <laughs> all right everybody have a great day thanks for watching bye <laughs>